Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, minister and prophet, M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayers, in prayer. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing, establishing your life in us every day. As we look at the, the beauty and holiness of every word of the word, from the Torah to the revelation of Yeshua and Mashiach, everything in between. Thank you, Father, and we praise you, Father, Yah, for all things together making Yahweh. We thank you and praise you because you're the power and you're the light that connects everything and the source that can, sources it together. Amen. We thank you and praise you. Amen. God, give the glory out to, to them now. I pray. Thank you, Father. Blessings. Now, today's sermon is called Be Like Emissary Peter. Be like the emissary Peter. Amen. We're going to go to Isaiah, Yeshayahu, delivering Yah, our God, amen, our Father. Chapter 12, 1b through 2. 1, 1b through 2 of 12 of Isaiah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prophet of God. He went through a lot, too, to get there. Remember that. They, don't, they just don't get that over day. They, they have to work to get, become what they become. Remember that. Where well, there's great response, we, great glory comes, but little, not much comes from that. So go for excellence. Amen. And it says, I thank you, Yahweh. I thank you, Yah. Because although you were very angry with me, you ain't, your anger is now turned away. And you are comforting me. See, God is my salvation. Yah is my salvation. Yahshua. I am confident and unafraid. Yah Yahweh is my strength for, and my song. And he has become my salvation. Yahshua. He has become my salvation. Yahshua. You, you, hear, you see that? Amen. Yah. Yeshua. Amen. Praise the living one forevermore. Let's go now to Acts. Acts of the Apostles. Yes, that's the correct name. Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 3, 1 through 11. 1 through 11 of 3 of Acts of the Apostles. Amen. And yes, Luke wrote it, but it was about the works of all the apostles and the different things that they went through. Amen. All right. Are we there? Praise God. Praise God. Praise Yah, the Father. Amen. Praise the Father. And it says, one afternoon at three o'clock, the hour of the Mitcha prayers, high prayers, as Kepha and Yochaman were going up to the temple. Kepha means Peter in English, and Yochaman is John in English. We're going up to the temple. A man crippled since birth, being carried in. Every day, the people used to put him in the beautiful gate at the temple so that he could call and beg from those going to the temple court. But they started straight to him. And Kepha said, look at us. The crippled man fixed in his attentions on them, especially to receive something from them. And Kepha says, I do not have silver. I do not have gold. Doesn't sound like Sounds a lot like us these days. But but what do I have I give you in the name of the Messiah, Yeshua of Nazareth? Walk. Amen. And taking hold of him by the right hand, Kepha pulled him up. Instantly his feet 
and ankles became strong, so that he sprang up, stood the moment, and began walking, and entered the temple court with them, walking and leaping and praising Yah. Everyone saw him walking and praising Yah, recognizing him as the, the same man who had formerly sat and begged at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were amazed, utterly amazed, confounded at what had happened to him. Well, he clung to Kepha and Yokomon. And all the people came running and standing together with them in the in the Shalomo uh, area. Amen. Praise God. God is the same yesterday and today and forever. And see the heart of Peter and John. They didn't have much, but what they had was great in the inside. Amen. Because the spirit of Emmanuel, Yeshua, was with them. And that was given unto that man that was hurting in pain. And that he was crippled up in pain too. And, and gave him liberty that day. Gave them, he gave the sovereignty back to that man. It, they lost it from the, whatever happened to him to make him out. And Yeshua the Messiah within them, the Spirit of God that was in Peter and in John, came into that man. Because he symbolically took the hem of the garment just like that, but spiritually. Amen. And it was all because of the obedience of Peter and John. Amen. Doing what God wants them to do and bringing liberty and uh, back into the people that lost. Amen. God bless you. Let's go to Second Peter, Bet Kepha, chapter one, verse thirty-three and four. Three and four of one of Second Peter. That is where we are headed. Amen. Amen. Okay. And it says. Praise the Father. Yah's power has given us everything we need for life, goodness, through our uh, knowing the one who called us to his own glory and goodness. By these, he has given us valuable and super great promises. So that through them, you might come to share in Yah's nature and escape the corruption which the evil desires have brought into this world. Amen. And that's what they were doing. That's what Peter and John were doing. Amen. Is they were bringing liberties back to that man that had that problem. It was crippled. He was in pain. You cripple, you got pain. I guarantee you, different ways. And God brought liberty through Peter and also John to that man. They didn't have it. He had to. He had to do what he had to do. Amen. Don't look down on that man that that was crippled and begging for money and bread. He had to do what he had to do. It's like a lot of people do. But liberty is there. A freedom. Sovereignty can't get back. Because Peter obeyed the spirit of Yah, Yeshua, the Manuel within them. Amen. So we got to be like the emissary of Peter. Amen. Kepha. And be obedient to, to, to send liberty. And let the liberty's bell ring in people that are having hardships and hard times. God is still a miracle working God, both on the inside of a man and woman, but on the outside of a man or woman. Their minds, their hearts, wherever it needs help, 
even in the money situation. God, God is, God makes a way where there's no way. Amen. He, he, it's, his train is always on time. Amen. Let's go back to the Acts of the Apostles. We're going to go to chapter 12 this time. Of 6 through 17. 6 through 17 of 12 of Acts of the Apostles. Amen. That is where we are headed. Hallelujah. God loves you. God's got a plan for you. Our Yah, the Father, has a plan. Through His Spirit, Emmanuel, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Amen. The will. So we know the ways, amen. Let go and let God, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The night before Herod was going to bring him to trial, Kepha was sleeping between two soldiers, and he was bound with two chains. The guards were at the door. Keeping watch over the prison. Now, now look at here. This Kepha, Peter, was in prison. Wouldn't you be awake? Not Kepha. He was in peace. He was in the peace of Yeshua. He was in the peace of Emmanuel upon him. You know, he had, he had chains on him. He had two, two soldiers, you know. Anybody else be disturbed and not getting any sleep? Not Peter. You got to be more like Peter. We got to have that peace of the spirit of Emmanuel in us, Yeshua. Amen. We got to have that peace like Peter had. Let's be more like the emissary Peter today. Amen. He was he was bound in with two chains and guarded with the, at the door, keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly. It was sudden. That means quickly. An angel of Yah stood there at the light shone in the cell. And God's light shined in the cell. Did you see that? And the angel of God, one of, one of the cousins came and said, I'm going to break this character out. And he he. he and he uh, tapped Kepha on the side and woke him. He had to tap Peter on the side and say, hey, man, wake up. This is your cousin, one of the angels of another creation trying to get a hold of you. I'm going to get you out of here. I'm going to get you out of this character place. You know, and that's what Kepha and Kepha awoke. Amen. Hurry, get up. He haven't had to say, hurry and get up, you know. I know you're in you're in you're in a piece of of beautiful Yeshua. The spirit's peace is on you. But you gotta get up, Peter, he said. And the chains fell off his hands. It just fell off. Amen. It's fell off. God wants the chains of of of, of all the the circumstances to fall off of you. Every, every one of you. Amen. And the angel said to him, put your clothes and sandals. And he did. Threw on the robe. And he says, follow me. Go out, Kepha, follow him. But did not recognize that he was, was happening through the angel was real. Because he was so much in peace with Emmanuel on him. He had Emmanuel's peace so much on him. That when this was really happening in real time to him. That he thought it was a dream. Because he had the peace to pass his own understanding on him. Amen. And he thought he was seeing a vision. Having passed the first gourd and the second. And then he arrived to the iron gate. Leading him to the city, this open to, to him by itself. By itself. Amen. And they made their exit. And they went down to the, the length of the street. Suddenly, the angel left. You got to do other things. We're, you know, we're always working. Amen. Because the angels are always doing things. Humanity, you better start 
thanking Yah Spirit Yeshua for that. And then Kepha came to him, himself and says, Now I know that surely Yah sent the angel to rescue him, me from Herod's power, from everything that Judean people were hoping for. Amen. God's the same yesterday, to today, and forever. And God can rescue us from these little character network called politicians too. Because he's the same yesterday and today and forever. These characters, God's the same. And what he's done before with Peter, he can do with us. Amen. He can rescue us from these characters. And they're prison. They're, they're trying to prison the nations itself. God's going to break us out of this garbage and he's going to burn the prison uh, or down. Call, that they're trying to make the nations that they're self at the prison. God's going to knock that silly. He's going to say, no, you're not going to enslave humanity, you politicians, you little slime buggers. You, you see that place, that big pit down there? That's where you're going to be going, you politicians, unless you get saved and become statesmen and stateswomen that are servants and are going to do whatever it takes to help their brothers and sisters. Amen. Realizing what had happened, he went to the house of Miriam, the mother of Yochimon, surnamed Mark where many of the people had gathered to pray. See, they were praying. There's always someone got your back, someone praying for someone else. Amen. We all pray for one another. Amen. When we not know what to pray, the Spirit of Yah will help us pray. Yeshua, Emmanuel. And he knocked on the outside of the door. Can you imagine? You're Peter, you were in prison. Your cousin, your cousin the angel let you out of prison. And now, now you're going to their house. They're not going to understand at first that that's you, right? And the servant name, or Rhonda, came to answer. And she recognized Kepha's voice and was so happy that she ran back without opening the door. Goodness. And and announced that Kepha was standing at the door. Well, meanwhile, he's at the door saying, man, what, are they going to let me in? I'm a little hungry here. You know, you just think about that. You, you're out. You're, uh, okay. And, and, and announced that Peter was at the door. And you're out on your mind. And they said to her, but she insists. It is true. So they said, it is his angel. Meanwhile, Kepha kept knocking. And when they opened the door, they saw him. And they were uh, uh, amazed. You would be amazed too, wouldn't you? Motionless that, to them with his hands to be quiet. And, he, and, and told them how Yah had brought him out of the prison and says, tell all of Jacob and his brothers. Then he went and left elsewhere. Because, you know, you got to get going with what God has told you to do. Amen. You don't stop. You, you don't put your tent pegs down. There's so much more to do for your fellow brothers and sisters and, and bringing greatness to each one. Amen. The liberties and, and sovereignty and freedoms that we all deserve. Just don't abuse them. Just use them in the right way. Let's be the people of God to do great things. Amen. Let's go to Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 16, 19 through 21. 19 to 21 of 16 of Jeremiah. Amen. Let's go to Jeremiah, the cruel prophet of Jeremiah. We're going to let's go over there. Although Jeremiah had a lot of things that a lot of us would wish we would never go through, but 
He went through them because he loved the people and he loved God. And he was willing to stay the ground of what was told him to do. Amen. He was obedient to the call. All right, and it says, Yah, my strength, my fortress, and, and my refuge in time of troubles, the nations will come to you from the ends of the earth, saying, Our ancestors inherited nothing but lies, uh, futile idols, and completely useless. Can a person make himself God? No. In fact, they are not of gods at all. Therefore, I will make them know once and for all. I will make them know my power and my might. Then they will know that I am, the name is Yah, Yahweh. Amen. And that's what Peter uh, is doing. He's, he's making known the name of Yah and Yeshua. Amen. And that faithfulness. Got him out of that circumstances, amen, and will get us all out of our circumstances if we have faith. And the Spirit of God, of Yah, Yeshua, Emmanuel, amen. Let's go to Acts of the Apostles again, chapter 2, 37 through 39. 37 through 39 of 2 of Acts of the Apostles, amen. Praise God. Praise the Father. Praise the Father God. Praise the Father God right now. Amen. On the hearing this, they were struck in their hearts. And they said to Kepha and the other emissaries, Brothers, what should we do? Kepha answered them, Turn from your sins. You're missing the marks. Return to Yah, each of you. Immerse on the authority of Yeshua. That means baptize in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, into the, the forgiveness of sins. I'm missing the mark. And you will receive the gift of Rukadash, the spirit of a holy God, Yeshua, for the promise is for you, your children, and those far away, as many as Yah, our, our Father, may call. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Father. See how that works? Peter kept on going. He kept on doing what God had told him to do. Yah had told him to do. Through the, the, uh, Emmanuel with him. Yeshua. Amen. Let's be more like the emissary Peter. Amen. Let's go to First Peter. All of Kepha, chapter 1, verse 8 through 12. 8 through 12, or 1 of First Peter. Amen. That's where we're heading. Amen. Praise the Father. And it says, without having seen him, you loved him. Without seeing him now, you trust in him. And continue to be filled with joy. Keep continually being Fill with joy, 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 joy. The thing that Satan loves to steal through these politicians, and news media, and CEOs. Don't let nobody steal that joy. God's given it. It's a gift. And it says, be filled with joy, fullness of joy, and gloriousness beyond words. And you receive that you're trusting. Is aimed at, namely your deliverance, and deliverance in Hebrew is Yesa, which is a, a deliverance of Yeshua in the middle of his name. Yeshua is the deliverer, he's a Yesha that was meant for you. Pondering, inquiring diligently about it, that we were trying to find out the time circumstances to which the spirit of the Messiah did you see, hear what they say the spirit of the Messiah amen the spirit of the Messiah and within was referencing in the 
producing of the Messiah's sufferings and the glorious things to follow. It was uh, revealed to them that they were service when they spoke about these things were not for their own benefits, for their for yourself and these same things have now been proclaimed to you by those who com communicated the good news to through the Rukadash, the Spirit of a Holy God, the Yeshua, Amen, sent from the, he the heavens. Even the angels long to look at these things, Amen. God Almighty loves you and got a plan for you. We just got to look at these wonderful, great people and men and women of the Bible that over time, they did they did it. Amen. And God's saying we can do it too. Got the heritage. It's all in the word. We got to go forward with it. Amen. By faith, not by sight. Amen. Let's be more like the emissary Peter today, amen, Kepha. The last scripture is 1 Peter, out of Kepha, chapter 2, 1 through 3, 1 through 3, up to, of 1 Peter, amen. Are we there? So we can read this, amen. Therefore, rid yourself of all malice and all deceit, hypocritical and envy, all the nature of Satan. We've got to get rid of that. God, God, God has liberated us from that old nature of the tree of knowledge of good and evil wickedness. But that now we can sum it up in the tree of life through the cross of Calvary. Amen. That brought the tree of life symbolically back to us. Amen. And of all the ways there, there are speaking against people. And, and let, let's be like newborn babies thirsting. For the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow up into the deliverance. Deliverance, Yasha, our Yeshua, amen, is our Yasha too, in there. In there. He's our Yasha. There's layers within his name. I want you to know that. There's, there's Yeshua, Yahweh saves, and then there's Yasha, deliver, and it's in the name. It's, it's within the, the, the names. Of, and then there's the silent H that needs to be there, which means completeness. So he's, the, he's Yahweh that saves, that delivers, and completes us. Amen? All in there. So, uh, okay. Thir uh, thirsting. And so by it, you may grow up in deliverance, Yasha, for you have tasted Yah is good. Yah is good. And Yah is uh, is translated as power. He's the power. He's, he's, he's the electricity that we need to, to keep going. And our Father is that that is. And his spirit, the Emmanuel, Yeshua, uh, Rokadash, he is the light. He's the Va, he's the light. And and he we get the source of life through that light. And we get the, the connection of of energy, the power of life of life that they both are together as Yahweh. Amen. Praise the Father. So let us be more like Peter today. Amen. He's a great one, isn't he? But you know what? He started from humble beginnings. Just like we have. And as Peter did, we're gonna have things too. And we're gonna and, and but we gotta look at some of his life he became as he matured into this emissary, as we mature into what God has for us too. Amen. Let us look at the Peter. This amen and this become more like Peter, confident. At first Peter wasn't very confident, you know. He denied Yeshua three times. And then, and then he came back after the resurrection and said, hey, you character Peter, what you doing? Come over here. He said, do you love me? Be my sheep. 
and said, Peter, careful, say, yeah. And he said again, and the third time he's he trying to get a hold of him, what he's doing, Simon bowed Jonah Kepha, do you love me? And he got a little irritated. He said, yes, you know I love you. He said, then feed my sheep. That was said and done. He reversed what Satan was trying to do to Peter. God reversed it. God's spirit that is faithful Reverse that. He can reverse your problems too. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he's done before, he'll do again. Believe me. And I tell you what, he's a father. And as a father, you don't you don't kick your your kids to the curb when they do wrong things and sometimes shocking things once in a while. Because they're they're growing, right? They're growing up. They do stupid things sometimes, children do. Even even when they get into the, the area of adulthood starting to, they, they get into things too. But the father is just like a, a natural father. He's not going to get shocked with the things you do wrong. Amen. He's, he's going to say, come on over here. Let's talk about this. Bring, your, bring the spirit with you. He loves you. Yeshua. We're going to get all this hashed out. We're going to feel better. Because confession is good for your soul and heart, right? And you do that personally in prayer to him. And you're going to feel better, aren't you? You're going to feel a lot better. You're not going to drag on that anymore. You're going to be a man. You're going to be a woman that's free from that at that point. Even though Satan might tempt you and say, well, how about this and that? You just show Satan to the door. You get out of here, you piece of ant worm. You'd say that to Satan. Get out the door. I don't have time with that. I don't have time for success. And amen. Because God, God's going to make you successful for who you are in the inside out. If you're not successful on the inside, how can you outside be successful? If you're not great on the inside and cleansing and feeling better, trickling out to the outside, how's that ever going to happen? Well, the Spirit of God does it for you. He died on the cross for you. Came in the physical form, suffered great for you and me and everybody, so that we could have a second chance. God is the is a second chance God. He's a father. Just like with your children. You don't kick them to the curb when they do wrong. You try to work it out. You might be shocked a little bit, but you work with them. You say, well, let's, let's work on this together. Let's think about this now. And the Father God's the same way. Amen. God bless you. Now, some of you are not saved children of God. And there's other there is. And some of you are some are faltering and having a hard time. Well, you know what? Pray this prayer. Mean it with all your heart. And get right with He's right there. Freshness is there for you. Sanctification is always there for you. Blessings. Is always there. You gotta repent of the things that can cause judgments so you can have the blessings. Amen. Amen. God God shows you mercy for what he did on the cross. Remember that. Now pray this prayer and get it right. Children of God that are not saved. Pray this prayer right now. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body, as majesty and king over my life. Love you very much, Yeshua, Jesus, Jesus, amen, our Yeshua, our deliverer, Yesha, be with you, amen, shalom, God bless you. Father, I pray for them, I pray for the burdens to be lessened, the yokes to be lessened, just like your word says, the only burden they should have is for their fellow men and women that are hurting, that need, that need to be told, and, and and bring them out of their burdens and their yokes of slavery of, of the government brings to us. And bring out of that yoke of bondage that they are sovereign, that they are they can go to the, 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 the serenity of God that has for them and, and cleanness and all those things that Satan tries to bound people up. Satan has no authority 
but he steals it from the people. He steals the sovereignty away. God gives it back through Yeshua, the Messiah, the, the Emmanuel, the Spirit of the living God. Amen. So today is the first step in the right direction. And every time you go back, remember there's always a way forward, going forward, and with the sanctification of God on you and the holiness and joy, joy of God. The joy of God. Every time you feel like you don't deserve that joy, you tell this stupid devil whispering in your ear, get out of there. God gives you joy as much as that salvation, as much as that holiness, as much as that sanctification of cleaning, cleaning, feeling good. Amen. That joy. Tell those politicians to go to hell where they belong. You're going to keep your joy. Amen. Tell those politicians to go to hell and that you're going to keep your salvation. Tell those politicians to go to hell and keep your holiness of God on you. Tell those politicians to go to hell and keep, keep, keep your peace like Peter had in the midst of the storm. Amen. God's going to give you peace. Amen. God bless you. Shalom to you. Peace. 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 Shalom. Nothing seven, nothing broken, because the peace of Emmanuel is with you, just like it was with Peter. Don't let nobody steal your peace. Don't let nobody steal your holiness. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal that, that, that completeness of the Spirit of God. Sanctification on you. A forgiveness. Coming to him and asking for forgiveness and it's gone from the east to the west. Amen. The north to the south. God Almighty makes a way. Praise, praise the Father. God bless you. Shalom to you. Take a hold of that shalom today. Take a hold of that joy today. Take a hold of that sanctification today. Take a hold of those things and holiness. God mighty loves you. I love you. God loves you. Remember that. That's why the sanctification is there for you. And joy and peace. Soundness of mind. And great non-selfish love he has for you. Correction of love. Justice of God surrounding you. Amen. God bless you. Be strong and be courageous forevermore. God bless. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't ever stop. All right. Shalom.